Hello, my name is Alexandra, I'm a technical fashion designer and today I will show you how to create a grading sheet for your tag pack. So here is my tag pack that I'm currently working on, it's a tag pack for a wrap dress. I have my sketches here, I have my materials here and here is my measurement sheet. It's not complete yet, I have only points of measurements here, I have my sketches here for each point of measurements and I have the tolerances for my factory here too. So, to create a grading sheet, I will go to the tag pack settings, go to the sizes, and select the size range first. I will select for my tag pack, I will select three sizes small, medium, and large. I will select medium as a sample size. You can select whatever you want. Then I will go back to the measurement sheet and I will see that the sizes were added here. And I can see that the medium size will be a sample size here. So what I'm gonna do next is switch to the grading mode. I will start by adding the grading rule for each point of measurements. So for the chest, I will add minus two for the small size and I will add two inches for the large size. The same will continue here. Minus two for the hips in smalls and plus two inches for the hips in large. Your grading rule will basically depend on which style you're creating. For a more fitted style, it will be different than for an oversized shirt or like oversized dress. And also it will depend on your preference and on your uh, customer, on their preference too. Grading rules are usually like standard things that you can look up on the internet. Some brands uh, just choose to create their grading rules, their own like unique grading rules. So it de definitely depends on your strategy as a clothing brand. I like adding my grading rules first without starting with the sample measurements because I think it's so much easier um, to do that and you will see why in a couple of seconds. So I have my grading rules in place, then I switch to the measurements. And right now I will be able to add the measurements for my sample size. And as you can see, the grading for each size is calculated automatically based on my grading rule. We can go the opposite way and select to do the sample size first. You can even add the measurements for each size on your own if you'd like to. And the tech packer, we just calculate your grading rule automatically based on that. So it's definitely depends on your preference. I've been noticing that many designers um, nowadays are providing their only their grading rule to the factory without providing the whole uh, measurements sheet for each size. Because what they say that beca it's because whenever they have a sample size made and they want to do the changes, it's just make it so much easier to apply those changes if the factory just has the grading rule. And as you may know that the, sam the sample making process is a long process. It might take like a numerous amount of samples to be made before you get the right sample that you approve. So sometimes it might work even better for you. So this is definitely a thing to consider. So as you can see now, TechBacker calculated the size small and size large based on my rule, grading rules and based on my sample size. So right now, if I click the dock view here, I will be able to see my entire tag pack here and I will go down to check what our grading sheet looks like. Okay, 
so we have our grading sheet here we have the tolerances we have the all three sizes here calculated already which is i think super easy and fast uh, without the need of creating like numerous sizes and then um, taking their measurements so yeah you have it done right now and in our next tutorial i will talk more about the tolerances Thank you so much for watching. I really hope this was helpful for you and stay in the loop for more tutorials.